welcome. And a warm welcome to you all as we gather here for online worship together today. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And so let us pray together as we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And the collect, Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. 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 The first reading is from Jeremiah 7, verse 27. You will tell them all these things, but they will not listen to you. They will challenge them but they will not give you a hearing. Today's hymn. Spirit, lead me when 
my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander My faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior Spirit trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my savior spirit lead me when my trust And something to ponder. Nothing succeeds like success, so they say. And we've all seen the truth on that on countless occasions. A sports person or team looks down and out, hopelessly beaten, until an unexpected point, goal or an overtake brings fresh heart and the tables are turned. A business is struggling to survive, its shares plummeting on the stock market. But then a new product captures the imagination and investors are suddenly queuing up to be part of its success story. An author struggles for years to make a living, virtually unheard of, only for a book out of the blue to shoot to the top of the bestseller charts. And from then on, everything he or she produces is like gold dust. Success breeds success. But what we can forget is that success also involves the courage to fail. The la last ditch effort of a sports person may backfire, leading to almost certain defeat. The innovative product pioneered by the firm may turn out to be a flop. The author's new book may fare no better than previous offerings ending up on the back shelf of some cut price bookshop. It takes courage to risk failure, and in consequence, many of us never even attempt to find success. The prophet Jeremiah could have been similarly defeatist, for he knew from the outset of his ministry that few would listen to him, and that many would be overly hostile to his message. Yet he carried on regardless, in the hope that one or two might hear and respond. We in turn need that same faith and courage in the service of God, a willingness to accept apparent failure and not be deflected from our path, to take on new initiatives and attempt great things, even though they may seem beyond us. Another familiar proverb sums it up well. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. And so ask yourself, is the memory of past failure preventing you from trying something again? Are you allowing the fear of failure 
to deny the possibility of success. And so let us pray. Living God, we don't like failing at something. It hurts our pride, destroys our confidence and undermines our self-esteem. Far better, we tell ourselves, to cut our losses, admit defeat and focus on the things we know that we can do well. Yet you have shown us, through Rose like Jeremiah, that success is not always won easily, that there are times when we must work for it, despite setbacks, persevering come what may. Teach us then never to lose heart, but to take the leap of faith in times of adversity, confident that ultimately the victory will be yours through Christ our Saviour. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Sorry, forgot to unmute. <laughs> the second reading is from 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8 to 10. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Be mused, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always bearing in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be revealed likewise in our bodies. The love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. And the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts with love and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. 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 And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the, the, Holy, Spirit the Holy Spirit be with us all, with us all evermore. evermore. Amen. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve the Lord in the name of, in the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.